सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द रियक्ट नेटिव कोर्स ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन इन दिस इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज कॉम्पोनेंट ओके सो इन इन डेली लाइफ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज कॉम्पोनेंट सो एवरी थिंग इज कॉम्पोनेट लेट सपोज यू हैव अ बाइक साइकिल एंड सो हाउ डज बाई साइकिल बाई साइकिल यू नो इट्स टू कॉप इज इट्स बाई साइकिल मेड ऑफ सम कॉम्पोनेंट्स ओके एंड दैट्स हाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डेली लाइफ सो एवरी थिंग्स यू नो इन द एप वी हैव अ कॉम्पोनेंट सो इफ आई Uh, tell you that what is complete let's suppose you 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 have any app okay so there could be a card component a nav bar component and basically what is component in normal life if, if i talk about you know, the component is a code a component is a consist of code that are independent and you can reuse that okay now let's talk in the terminology of code okay here text is also one component view is also component okay but in the application logic let's talk about i want to create a one component which is independent and which is re- reusable let's suppose uh, i want to create one component called my card okay my card or my data basically where i have some my details so how does we create a component we can write a component inside the app.jsx or we can create another folder called component and we can write there but let's uh, right now like this here so we can make a component basically component is what component is just like a function okay and so component is just like function so you can use arrow function or normal function so i'm right now using the arrow function so how we can write arrow function like this and we have to open the curly braces and we have to write the return inside the return we have to write the our code okay okay now let's suppose i want to write about myself so it, it's a my data component so so let me write my name so my name is alishan okay and we have to like write this so my age so let me write my age is 23 okay now i want to render this component here so how we can render this like this okay and we can see this card uh, we got some error and what is the error i'm getting okay so you know in react there is one more thing which i just want to know in react you can't return multiple element you have to you can only return one element okay only one parent element so what we have to do we are getting error okay so adjust an just an element must be wrapped inside a closing tag so we have to wrap inside like this we can have we can use few okay and we have to return only one element we can't return two element and we are returning only a view component okay and it's good sorted okay there is one more one thing which i just let you know so we can see we have created one component called my data and we are just you know if i want to reuse it i can reuse it multiple times you can see here awesome no now let's suppose we have another component called const uh let's suppose i have a component called my profile okay so my profile component and i i can use it reuse it okay this like this and i can write the code now if we so what are components and in this video we are going to discuss about the what are components and example of components so if we talk about what is component co- component is independent reusable code such as function okay so which have which we have already seen that like it component is independent yeah it's independent we can reuse it like this just we have to copy paste copy paste and we can reuse it in our app anywhere we want okay now instead of making component like this we have another thing we can write the code our much more cleaner because we have to write our code cleaner manner so how we write the code let me show you uh quickly so first we have to create a folder okay whatever cop folder you want to name but i'm going to gonna name it components okay inside the component folder i'm going to create one component called uh profile component profile dot jsx there's one more thing which i just letting you know that component name should be always start with a capital letter but in function you can write with any letter that doesn't matter okay so we have already seen a extension shortcut we can write r n f e s okay so it's writing me the bother plate code for this function so this is how we can write the 
component code let's write it from quickly from which our hand so how we can write the component cons profile whatever function you want i'm going to use the arrow function okay now i'm going to return it like this okay now we have a called view and inside the view we can write a text uh, it could be a uh, one thing called okay i forget to import the view let me import the view from the react native okay inside the text i can write myself hey man what's up okay now how we can you know we have to export this component so in react we can export the component two ways by default and export name so if we just you know export like this export name export if i do name export export name export cons profile now i have to import this uh, component so we have to write like like this import okay it's a, a, a name export so we have to destructure a profile component okay and we have to define our path okay how we can define the path we have two components and inside the component we have called profile okay and to render this profile component we can render like this perfect and are we able to see yeah hey man what's up so we can see this component and we can reuse this component okay now let's suppose i want to create another component called uh, dashboard component let's suppose i want to create a component called card dot jsx okay now i can write the component called let's you know this time i'm gonna use a functional component normal function instead of arrow function so function card okay now it's gonna returning something okay uh returning it's gonna be what is going to be returning so let me open first view and inside the view uh i have to text okay and where there's one more thing we have to import the view tag okay view tag from react native same text for text from the react native and for the text hey i am card component okay now we have to export it also so i'm going to right now do it this time export default card okay now we have exported the ex card component and to import the card component just we have to write card component and press enter it will keep suggestion and we have to not use destructuring like you know for the default export we just have to write the component name but if you are making it name export so we have to add a destructure and this is how we can write the component okay now if you go back to our slides so we have talked about like components are independent and revisable code as such as function so yeah our components code uh, such looks like a uh, it's looking like a function so yeah but we are able to write a jsx code components are two types the first one is called functional component and the second is called class component before you know before like when initially react launch so at that point of time we were we were using class component but it was not so good to managing in the state and that's how the functional component get released okay now we have also seen the different type of export uh, default export and the name export okay and the next session we are going to talk about the button and the on press event before that uh this is all about the component like you know basically we can reuse the logic and it's independent so if we change something inside the component so it doesn't gonna reflect any other thing and that's why we use uh in the react everything is component like view is a one kind of component uh card is also component and that's yeah uh then yeah see you guys see you guys again in the next session and please let me know if you guys have any question and please let me know how you're feeling with this course thank you bye